it's funny. I can, you know how they say they don't have initiation for men and all these other things. Um, I remember the day I became a man. I really do. And it was because of him. He, um, I was talking to him and I, uh, I had a warrant for my arrest. You know, it was for um, like driving and doing just dumb stuff. You know, I was still really young. And um, he came to me and he was like, hey, he never told me what to do ever or, you know, whatever. He said, you can do one or two things. Now, this doesn't sound like initiation to somebody else, but where I'm from, it's like the first time you take ownership of yourself. And I did. Um, he goes, you can do one or two things. You can go there and you can face the music, walk in there and turn yourself in, or you can stay running and they'll catch you eventually, but you can stay running. And I thought about it and I went there the next day. I was scared. I wanted to cry. I didn't want to walk in there, man. I was like, what the hell? I didn't know. And uh, it was so scary, but then I did it. And I went through that few months of being like with all these grown ass men in there being a young kid. And at the time I didn't know that. I didn't realize that I was changed and I saw the world different until I was in my twenties. Mm -hmm. And it really didn't unfold until I was like 33. That was the year, man, where it all just boom. I figured, I saw, I can look back and go, these people set the stage. And so if I wouldn't have took that direction that day, it wouldn't set me on the path to uh, this awareness. And what happens is you keep hitting these milestones and you don't know you're on this journey. You look back and you go, oh man, this was a, this was a thing, but you don't connect it to them. You just go, wow, okay, this is turning out different. And so you keep going from stone to stone to stone and you're like, man, I'm doing something right. And then I look back and I'm like, wow, they set out the breadcrumbs for me to follow. And ever since I've been doing that, you know, mm. oh, dude, I love that. Like the first, the first thing that, that, that initiation for you was um, taking ownership and telling the truth. You know, it's, it sounds mm -hmm. so simple. It sounds so simple. And, um, you know, just to kind of juxtapose my story into it a little bit, won't talk about it too long, but it's um, to some degree, my getting my life in order, you know, I didn't come from, from such disadvantaged positions like you did, you know, um, which, which makes it, it's like, why don't you just fucking start telling the truth and taking more responsibility you ad advantage piece of shit. But like, for me, it was like little things like cleaning my room a little bit more and like, you know, when I was really young, I started to do the dishes, taking more ownership to, to your point, you know, little things like that. And eventually it just grows and grows and grows. And like the sail, you know, that the ship's going down this part and then eventually you start doing a little bit, just be like, okay, I'm responsible for my life. Um, and then it just starts going that way. And then it's, it's almost annoying how simple it is, you know, to some degree, like I wish it was more complicated than I like, it's like I found the gold, I found the message. 